Right on cue, as usual. What was that? That was Brooke. Yeah, I know, but uh, what did I do wrong? You just arrived at the wrong time. Would you like a cup of coffee? Yes, thank you. Well, I guess I better get going. Busy day ahead? Oh, they're all busy, Sheila. I guess it doesn't help when they start out the way this one did. No, you're right about that. The horrifying part of it is that I'm starting to get used to it. Oh, why, Eric? Why would you let yourself get used to it? You seem so miserable with Brooke. I guess it's because we share a common bond. Oh, you stay together because of the baby. Why else would we subject one another to all this? Well, I thought maybe... You thought maybe what? I thought maybe you still loved your wife. Well, if I do, I'm not admitting it to anyone these days, least of all to myself. Look, Sheila, some of these things are just too painful to talk about. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to pry. Why did you? I mean, I'm just curious. Well, the other day in the steam room when we were alone. That was very special to me. Well, I wasn't so sure. You know, I thought that you wanted to make love. And, and then when you didn't... I did want to make love. Then why didn't you, Eric? I don't know how to put this, except to say that I'm still committed to my wife. Although I, I don't know how much longer that can last. She's certainly doing everything she can to discourage it. But as long as I feel this way in my heart, I... Uh... No, I understand. You do? Yes, and I'm glad you're that way. That's a lovely thing for you to say. Thank you. Well, I only wish that Brooke appreciated it more. And I wish that for you, Eric. I don't wish that for myself. <laughs>